Hi, in this video, we are going to learn about a BTSD strategy. After that, we are going to build the same strategy on Tradetron and then we are finally going to backtest the strategy to see how it would have performed in the uh, in the last six months. Now, before, uh, before building the strategy, let's understand what is BTSD. So, BTSD stands for buy today, sell tomorrow or it could also be modified to sell today, buy tomorrow. So this is a, a, a regular combination that people use. Now in this in this strategy, the logic is that you basically take a buy or sell position at 325 and you immediately square it off the next day at 920, basically taking advantage of the overnight movement of the uh, of the index or the instrument that you are trading. So without any further ado, let's go and see how do we build such a strategy on trade run. So I have the strategy already built. I'll just go to edit. So in my BTSD strategy, I will have two sets, my set one and my set two. Now the objective of having two sets is that since it is doing a BTSD strategy, which means it is taking positions overnight, I want to make sure that on Thursdays, I am taking a trade in the next week expiry. So my set two is designed to trade only on Thursdays and the rest all the days I will trade in my set one, which is taking current week expiry positions. So I can show you my entry conditions in my set one. I have a simple entry condition as time greater than 325 and today is not uh, equal to current week expiry. This will make sure that the trades are not taken on Thursday. Now I'll show you my position builder. So in my position builder, I have a simple uh, ATM uh, call option that I will sell of current week expiry of one lot. And at the same time, I also have a put option that I will sell of, uh, of ATM uh, strike current week expiry and one lot. Um, now I'll show you my exit condition for my set one. My set one exit conditions are if time is greater than 920, which means after 920, I will want to exit and my time is less than 925 just to make sure that uh, there is uh, there is no re-entry or looping that happens in the strategy. So this kind of a exit condition would be ideal for a BTSD strategy where I have selected an AND condition and not OR. Similarly, I have my set two. In my set two, I can have a condition as same time is greater than 325 and today is equal to current week expiry because I want my set two to take trades only on Thursdays and uh, square it off on the Friday. So um, I'll, I have my set two and I have my position for set two. So out here I can see a nifty 50 call and I am selecting my ATM strike. Only difference is that in expiry out here, I've selected FX and in FX, I will select current week expiry. Now current week expiry will give me the current weeks uh, expiry and I will select one out here. This is very important. If you don't select one, it will select the current week expiry only and your strategy will not work correctly. So uh, I'll select uh, one out here in the expiry. Previously, I was selecting zero. So once I have my expiry uh, to the next expiry uh, selected as the next expiry, it should work better. Uh, similarly, I did the same thing for my put. I have current week expiry as my keyword and I select one out here in the nth expiry. Now, um, after doing this, I have my uh, exit conditions, which are the same as my set one exit conditions, time greater than 920 and time less than 925. Now, one important things, thing that you need to remember is that here in universal exit, you have to have a, uh, have a time based universal exit because you want your strategies counter to change every day after the uh, after the uh, set exit has happened so i am i am uh, triggering my universal exit every day at around uh, 10 o'clock so at 10 o'clock my universal exit will be triggered you can also add some pnl conditions if that's what you need but always have a and condition and a pn uh, time based uh, universal exit conditions for btsd strategies now um, also note that i have selected a reactivate after as 5 minutes do note that when you are selecting the time out here, your time, uh, if let's say uh, you need to calculate that if you're selecting five minutes, reactivate after five minutes, in that case, your, your universal exit reactivate number shouldn't be less than the number you select in your advanced settings. So if your advanced settings are selecting five minutes, then you can use time is less than 10.05. If you're selecting two minutes, then I would suggest use time is less than 10.02. That will make sure things are working pr uh, properly in your strategy. Now that we have understood how to build this strategy, I'll just update this and I will run a backtest of this. So I'll quickly go to backtest and you can see I have, I have selected six months, one minute open in my, uh, in my type, I'll select positional and my expiry will be, you can either select none or monthly. 
Now I'll leave it as none because it is selecting uh, different expiries uh, every uh, every uh, on a daily basis. So someday it will be weekly, someday it will be monthly. Now I'll click on back test, and now we will go to the back test page. Now this strategy should take around three to five minutes to back test. I'll not make you wait so long. I already have back tested this strategy, and I'll go to the completed section, and out here I'll click on status PDF. So this will give me the state uh, the the back test report that has been generated. So I'll just enlarge this a bit, and here is the report that is generated. So you can see what kind of return has this uh, has this back test uh, performance of the strategy given. You can see the drawdowns. You can see uh, other important metrics along with the daily summary of how, how this would have performed. So one way to optimize this would be to do something on a Monday because Mondays were were mostly loss making days. The max loss was way more than the max profit. So I can do some optimization here. So based on such ideas, uh, you can make strategies, you can modify strategies all on TradeTron. If you have other other suggestions on what we should do in future videos, feel free to drop it in the comments below, and we would be happy to take it up in future sessions. Thank you very much. Bye.